Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we're looking at word processors with Microsoft Word and we're looking at a really cool feature called Word Art which can really make your Word documents have dynamic headings. So let's go look at some Word Art features. So most of the time when you've got a document you might have a heading that you want to place. Maybe you want to say main topic over here and what you would tend to do is you would then format this text. You go hey let's make it bold, let's make it a particular color. Let's make it a bit bigger and that's what you can do and you've got some lovely options available but you can really make it nice and cool. Let's take that away. I want to use what we call word art. So I'm going to come here to insert and over here we've got word art. It's a way to make these funky little pre-designed headings that we can use. So let's say I really like this one. It's that black with the purple background. So I'm going to click on that one. These are templates that are available to you and when I Click on it, you see it creates this little like text box and we can physically move this around to where we want it to be. So I'm going to click over here, put it over here where I want it. I'm going to then select the text and say main topic. And so there we go. Once we've got our word art in place, you'll notice that it's considered a shape. It's actually just a box with text in it. And we have all these wonderful options now available to me. So for example, I can fill in the entire block if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm not going to do that. But you can do that. You can actually give a little line around this block, but that's not what I'm going to focus on. If you don't like that style, you can go back to one of the pre-designed style and change it to one of the other options and see what they look like. But let's keep to that one for now. But over here is where I tend to use most of my options. I come over here and I want to change what the color is of the inside of the text. So that black part there, that's what I want to change. Maybe I want to change it to green. So there we go. So now the text inside is green. Now that text also has, if you can see there, there's a white border around it. So maybe I want to change that to a darker green. So you'll see that white has now disappeared. So I've got a nice dark green. So that's the outside. And then over here, we've got some options. So for example, you'll see that our text has a shadow. So there are lots of different shadow options that we can, we can take the shadow away if we want, for example, but we can add some more shadows over here. We can add it to the side. Maybe I want it on the inner side. Maybe I want it on the outside like that. So if I click on there, you see there's a slight shadow over there. Now you can obviously go and do a reflection if you wanted to do a little reflection. So you can see a nice little reflection in the, the bottom. Maybe it's further a bit away. So you can do that. You can make a glow effect where it just has a nice little glow and you can pick the color of your glow. Create like a bevel, like it in, like almost like it's typed in or sticking out of the actual text. So you've got these options available. And I really like the 3D rotation. You can actually make a nice little heading by making it a particular 3D look. So like that. Or make it go a little down like that so you can really play around with your options over there and then there are also these transformations that's where we get really funky so we can make the text follow a little curve a little arch maybe go under arch maybe you wanted to make it in circle probably need more text for that but you can really have some funky little designs here for your topic so you can actually have multiple ones so you can have that option and we can further rotate it on a 3d perspective as well so you can do multiple of these extra effects now, if you want to customize them further, so for example, let's say that shadow, I can actually come here to more shadow options. And here's where I can really change things. So I can actually change the color of that shadow to that bright purple again. And you can turn the transparency off or on. You can make it a bit less lighter and let's turn it off a bit. So you can start to see that shadow and you can increase the blur. So you can actually make it a bit bigger and you can actually change the angle of that shadow as well. So you can play around with these. I don't think we've seen the full effect of it because of the 3D aspect of it. So let's go change it back to no 3D options. And we change away the transformation and our shadow at the moment is actually on the inside so if we take it to the outside you can then change those features as well and make the shadow a bit blurry we can make it less transparent and actually change the size there you can see you can see how you can change the actual shadow going further and further back so you can really play around with your options and the distance as well so you can really play around with some cool features and rex make some funky looking word art now if you've already got text what you can do is you can actually select the text and then go insert the word art let's say you took that and it will change that text into word art now you'll see that all the text is now around it you can change the wrap effect of it so you can make it tight or square or the text must go around it or in front so you do have those options just like you would with any other shape but we're going to go down and then I can actually move this up a bit and put my heading over here and maybe I want that to rather be in front of the text and then I can actually move it to wherever I need it to be so there we go maybe do that so there we go and you can play around again with these options all the options for example the shadow the reflection they're all over here even with the rotations you can play around with the actual y x and z axis to get the angle that you want but you've got all these options available so 
those are the actual text options if you click here those are the full options which you can also change over here if you want but we tend to use these two as the most often one and that one is the, the positioning of the text in the box you can actually put a little margin around that particular box but that's up to you but these are all our text options this is where i would make those changes you can do them over here but you can also get more functionality over here so if you ever lose it just remember go over here i always go here to for example shadow just go to more shadow options and then this appears and you can go through your different options again so really customize your word art so there we go so that's word art and remember the earth without art would just be eh. For more videos on Word, Excel, Access, and HTML, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long RT and Cat so that you don't miss a new video. Follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.